important. But I, finally, I want to tell the people of Kenya that I don't feel safe. And for the first time, let me say that uh, on 30th of August in Kisumu, undercover security agents entered my room in Kisumu and bagged it. And one of them tried to poison my food. But we detected it and we were able to escape the, the scheme. I was supposed to be killed through poisoning. On 3rd of September, in Nyeri, another team from the National Intelligence Service came to Nyeri and tried to poison food that was meant for me and Kikuyu Council of Elders. I did report this matter to the National Intelligence Service and the officers who were assigned to my office, I asked them to leave because I felt I was not safe. After the two attempts to assassinate me through food poisoning failed, it is when this impeachment motion was hatched. When my security was withdrawn here, officers from the National Intelligence Service have been hovering in every room, in every compound here. To an extent that I had to call my wife and my children to come and stay in my room, in my room just in case they get entry to my room or compromise the people who are treating me. So, regarding Ashago and his family, feel very exposed because these people have tried to kill us before. They have now tried to get us out of office. So, I asked President William Ruto, my brother, I helped you to be president. Leave me alone. Leave my children alone. Do whatever you want, but let me live. Let me look after my children. You can do whatever you want with the country, but allow me to live. Because I was there for you when you needed somebody to be there for you. When you were in trouble and you needed a man who could stand with you, I stood with you, with my family. You have paid us in kind by being so cruel and vicious against us. We are simple people. We are a very small family. Let us be. Do whatever you want, but please, Mr. President, I beg you, don't kill us. Don't kill my children. You have caused me enough pain for the last one year. Please, leave me alone. Let me be. God will take care of me. I don't have to have security. I don't have to have drivers. I don't have to have cars. Please, allow me to have my peace, if nothing else. And remember, I was there for you when you needed a man to be there for you. Let the courts of law uphold and protect our constitution. I ask the Chief Justice Martha Kome to live true to the fidelity of our constitution, to make sure that this is a country of the rule of law, to allow the court process to take place and ensure that this process is not negatory. There are orders asking that Ricardo Shagwa remain in office until this matter is hard and determined. Let it be. Thank you very much. Um, you just have to please. I don't want to say him alone. Leave him alone. What's wrong with you? Throughout the